As an electric car often can't go as far on a charge as the equivalent petrol car can on a full tank of fuel, and filling one up isn't quite as quick, you might want to adapt the way that you drive. Here are five ways to get free range. No, not that kind of free range. I'm on about for your EV. Number one, be gentle with that throttle. A lot of electric cars are quite powerful and can deliver instant torque. So as tempting as it is to put your foot down, try not to do it too often as it can cut down your range considerably. Number two, think about what you're doing with the other pedal. Slowing down is just as important. EVs have what's called regenerative braking, which happens when you lift off the throttle. Unlike in a combustion-engined car which will coast, the nature of a motor means an EV will start to slow down. And when it does, the motor acts as a generator, feeding power back into the battery. With a bit of anticipation, you can use this to your advantage, mostly using the motor to slow the car down rather than the physical brakes. Some cars will also have a one-pedal mode with strong regeneration to make this easier. Number three, turn stuff off. There will be times where it's just too hot that you need the Arctic spec aircon or too cold where you need high levels of heating. But most of the time, try and go easy on the climate controls. And if you can, turn it off entirely. The same goes for heated seats and heated steering wheels. They don't use as much energy as the climate controls, but if you want to go further, then turn it off. You could probably leave the radio on. Your boredom isn't worth the amount of electricity that will save. Now for number four, plan your route, or should we say, let the car do it for you. A good EV like this one will recommend the most efficient route in terms of power consumption. It might not be the quickest way from A to B, as it will probably involve avoiding some motorways and dual carriageways, but it will be the most efficient. Electric ranges do unfortunately take a big hit when you're running at 70 miles per hour or more for extended periods. However, if it's a longer trip, you might still get there quicker, having avoided a time-consuming charge stop. And another top tip, rather than cruising at the speed limit, try dropping down to 60. It's more relaxing, isn't likely to impact your arrival time much, and will make a noticeable improvement in your range. Our fifth and final tip is temperature. As with combustion engine cars, if you turn the aircon on flat out when it's really hot or really cold, this will really affect the economy. Most EVs now have a preconditioning function, which allows you to set the temperature while the car's still plugged in. It doesn't affect the range and it will be nicely warmed up and de-iced for you when you get in. With the time you save, could make yourself a nice breakfast. Omelette anyone? Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live.